I want to welcome you all, not to the Eminem show or any other type of show. I want to welcome you to He's Todd, and it's a lot of information, and he, can, he just can't give it to you all at one time, okay? It would be, I'd be talking all day, every day, every, every, every day, okay, every day, and I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to help some of you out. Those of you who have tax credits, pay attention. Those of you who have tax credits, hold on to them because we're not going to talk about tax credits. We're going to talk about federal credits. You know, after you fill out the 1099, you receive not tax credits. You receive federal credits. Why? Because nothing in the credits say that there are tax credits. There are federal credits. They didn't come from taxes, so they're not tax credits. They are tax credits as a result of your forgiving somebody of a debt. Ha ha. They're not tax credits. They're federal credits. Federal credits guaranteed by the federal government. There's no such thing as the federal government, but for the sake of this conversation, we're going to let that one go. They're going to get a pass this time. Now, look, I said, hey, Chad GPT, it gave me the definition of work. It says work refers to the physical and mental efforts and activities directed towards the production or accomplishment of something. Typically involves the task, duty, or job performed as part of employment or occupation. Occupation. Operator's license. Occupation. Operator's license. Sorry, I didn't say it. They did. Now, if you guys can get a copy of the 1983 California uh, driver's manual, you will see it define the difference between operating and driving a motor vehicle. You will see that in order to operate a motor vehicle, you must have a, at that time, it was a commercial driver's license. Now, when I say commercial driver's license, I ain't talking about no CDL. You see, I've had the chauffeur's license in the state of California, and I've, I, I've, 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 I've had the CDL. I've had it. I done had enough. I didn't had so many driver's licenses and certificates. So I read the manuals and I know. But anyway, let's get back to this. Ladies and gentlemen, I said, but work and service are not synonymous. So we don't let him talk. Forget that. I'm tired. Work is defined as physical or mental effort or activity directed towards achieving a purpose or result. Service is defined as the performance of duties or provision of assistance or benefit to others, typically as part of employment or a business. Now, let me let you guys know something so that you guys can understand something. Look up the definition for income, then look up the definition for work. Why do you look up the definition for work? Well, let's understand this. Annual return withheld federal income tax, the 945 form. This is for businesses. This form is used to report and pay withheld federal income taxes for non-payroll payments, such as pensions, annuities, and other non-wage income. Now, we already asked about wages. What is wages? Okay? Wages is defined as the remuneration. Real? Remuneration. Real? including cash value, enumeration, uh, paid, and any medium other than cash. Well, there's no definition for cash. What you mean by cash, homie? There ain't no federal definition for cash. Hold on now. So I told him that. I said, sorry, you're incorrect. There is no legal definition for cash, which means you exaggerated. Understood. Here's the definition without reference to cash. Wages are defined as all remunerations of services performed by an employee for an employer, regardless of the medium of payment. Hold on now. I don't receive payment from my employer. No, 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 no. You need to understand that's a bartering. We are trading my services for his papers or his credits, but we are not sitting up there receiving uh, wages for services. I'm not a service worker. Go ahead. Go ask anybody. I'm not a service worker. I'm not providing a service. Words are very important. 
Now define the definition for work, and we're back to where we started from. Okay, because remember it says wages are defined as performed by an employer employed regardless of the mean of employment, um, mean of payment or whatever. Hold on now, let me make sure you understand. Now that you understand, wages can only be attributed to withholdings because withholdings is from wages no matter what source. Okay, non-wage income, other non-wage income. Wait a minute, why do I have to report non-wage income on here? What is wage income? Again, it's not income. Why? Because there's no definition for income. We're not going to have that conversation today. I've already had that with you guys. Now, I want to tell you what you're going to do. When it come for you, bad boy, bad boy, what you going to do? What you going to do when it come for you? Get on out of here, one scribe. It's always trying to show up when you don't want it to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you all something. Employees withholding certificate. Let me tell you. We were using this particular form with the IRS, and they told us, oh, no, uh, you got to report withholdings. We're like, we ain't reporting no withholdings. Oh, no, you ain't getting no money if you don't report no withholdings. Oh, okay, we're going to report our withholdings. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as an employee, pay attention of your sole proprietorship. Pay attention. You got to document withholdings. Pay attention. You got to document withholdings. Pay attention. And what you're going to do, you're going to check that one and that one. Or if you're married, you're going to check this one and this one. Those are two different capacities. Here's another capacity for that first, middle, and last, well, the first and last name. And then let me get another capacity for it. dependent. You take care of yourself. Okay? I, I, I didn't say it. They said it. And then, hey, you are the actual filer. All right, so you're going to have to document your dependents. All right. And document your withholdings, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. You guys, you want to get a refund. You can't get a refund without documenting your withholdings. You can do this for your sole proprietor because as a sole proprietor, pay attention, you are the employer. Now, there are some other forms you have to do, okay? You can't just sit up here and think that, well, blah, 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 blah. No. As an employer, you must file taxes. How do I file taxes? Right here. That 945 form. Annual withheld for federal income tax. These are non-wages. See? Non-wage income. Non-wages. Do the research, people. But those of you who are looking for a refund, this is how you get your refund. How did they say it? This is how we do it. Okay. Now, we got that out of the way. Again, the idea is some of you are not going to get this because this is over your head because you're thinking taxes. So you're going to have to go back and listen to what's being said because what's being said is deliberate. And it's being said specifically in the fashion it's being said so that no one can accuse anyone of doing something to cause harm or damage. As an employer, you must document withholdings. Now, we have um, we have some other situations I would like to talk about, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let you guys know for data mass. Data mass will not do your W-4s. You need to come to them with that stuff already filled out. Okay, there's another thing going on. Uh, we're going to give you guys a heads up. It's not yet, so you can't contact Data Mass about it because I just introduced it to them, and you guys are going to see this even before they do because we won't be talking about it until tomorrow. So give it a second for it to pull up. This is just a being a fiat thing. Data Mass is about to introduce two more programs. Now, a lot of people have been using Data Mass and they've been going to the, what's the name of that stupid, their preparers and things, and they, we can't, we don't know what this stuff is. They're tax preparers. How could they not know what a tax document is? Don't let them clown you like that. Come on now. 
they do it for businesses all the time. They're letting you know that they're not going to do it for you. It's not that they can't do it. It's not that it's gobbledygook. It's not that they don't understand. That's why many of you are going to have to follow it yourselves. So that's why you're getting the information right now that I am specifically, specifically providing you the information that you need to have. We're going to go to production products. Hold on now. Uh oh, it don't want to open. Oh, it was still it was still gathering itself because it was lost. Oh, that's right. We have a video there now. Didn't have a video at first. All right, now we go here. Hurry up. Uh oh. Oh, offerings. Whew. Be like, where is it? I know it was here a moment ago. Offerings. Come on now. I guess it don't want me to go there, y'all. All right, finally. And it's happened to me right in front of my face, and I just cannot hide it. They're going to offer a program for you guys, those of you who have IRS tax liens. There will be a limit, I believe. That will be, I don't know yet. We haven't talked about it. That's why this is not going up just yet. And then there will be those of you who have the $400 billion lawsuit and you're trying to charge that junk off. Well, you're going to be required to do your 1099s. So you've already been given instructions. If you don't understand it, go back, watch the videos on $4 billion. Just type in $4 billion. What, you giving me an error report? No, you ain't sending no report. Hey, my fault you got errors. Anyway, and... This gives you the information to go and take a look at. This lets you know these are the prices that, if it's $35 billion, then it will cost you $400 to have them document that for you. They will not do your other taxes. They'll only be documenting this. You'll have to do the math and add your other taxes. They will not do your other taxes. What they'll do is they'll document the credits. My suggestion, if I was to offer a suggestion, is for you guys to file the credit to document it and then file it. You can always amend your taxes at that point. Once you do the amendment of taxes, then you can take it to a tax preparer because they'll see it's already been filed. And they can go off of that information and stop making it look like somebody's doing something wrong because that's what they're trying to tell you, that they ain't touching your junk because they cannot, don't want to use the accrual method with you. They want to use the cash method. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, just so y'all could know, this will be up, and then there'll be another paragraph down here talking about 1099Cs and what is expected of you. That's right. Hint, hint, hint. All right. So this will be up soon. It ain't up now. So there doesn't go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have the credits, you're going to have to document withholdings. You're going to have to read the instructions for the W-4. You have to read the instructions for the 945 form. I believe it is the 945. Let's make show. Because sometimes I can be 100% accurate. Ha ha! How do we have the 945 form, the W-4 form? Read the instructions. It'll tell you all the other forms that you may need. But for right now, these are the main two. Document your withholdings. Document your withholdings. Document the withholdings. How do you document the withholdings from your credits? The blah, 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 blah. You will document for the tax bracket for the amount of credits. If it's 45%, then you will assign 45% to the Internal Revenue Service of what your total amount is. That's how you document your credit. If it's 31%, then you document by withholding 31% of the credits. That's how you do it. But you're going to have to read the instructions, people. This is not my job to train you. My job is to show you what you're missing step by step. And right now, this is the next step that many of you are missing that you can't seem to get no matter how much I talk to you. All right. So go watch this video again, showing you guys how to get a refund the right way. Got to go. Hey, take care. Riva Dirty. Sarah and I.